Let's let's quickly take a look at this problem. We have one to the x plus eleven to the x equal to one twenty one to the x. I shall present two methods in solving this problem. Now the first method, method one. Method one. We shall be looking at uh, the fact that one to the s is equal to one for all real values of uh, x. So if this is true, we shall then have one plus eleven to the x equal to one twenty one to the x. Then again, one twenty one is eleven squared. So that's why this first method is quite very simple. So we can then write 1 plus 11 to the x equal to 11 squared to the x. Then again, from this property of exponents, if we have a to the power of m or then raised to the power of n, we can actually switch the position of the exponent. This is going to be a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So nothing has actually changed, just a simple commutation. So we can then write this equation to become 1 plus 11 to the x equal to 11 to the s whole squared. Now, you can see the pattern of folding here. This is going to be a quadratic equation. So we say let k, let k equal to 11 to the x. We shall then have 1 plus k equal to k squared. If we rearrange this equation in a standard form, it's going to be k squared minus k minus 1 equal to 0. So this is a quadratics. We shall use the quadratics formula. So we have our a equal to 1, our b equal to negative 1, c equal to negative 1. This being said, k is then going to be negative b from the quadratic formula. b squared minus 4ac all upon 2a. So if we solve the values of a, b, and c, well then we're having k equal to 1 plus or minus because of the fact that we have negative b, then we have negative b in the formula, becomes a double negative, which is positive. Then we're going to be having negative 1 squared, then minus 4 multiply 1, multiply negative 1, all upon 2 times 1. So it's going to give us k equal to 1 plus or minus. If we square negative 1, that becomes a 1. Then negative 4 multiply 1 multiply negative 1. That becomes a positive 4 all upon 2. This is going to give us 1 plus or minus radical 5 all upon 2. So, can then retrieve the two values of k. k sub 1 equal to radical 5 plus 1 upon 2, k sub 2 equal to radical 5 minus 1. No? Okay, that would be 1 minus radical 5. Actually, that would be 1 minus uh, radical 5 all upon 2. So, radical 5 plus 1 is something as 1 plus radical 5. So, and we know that k is equal to 11 to the x. K is equal to 11 to the x. So we are then going to be having, okay, I'll say recall, recall, K is equal to 11 to the x. So for K1, I'm going to be having 11 to the x, okay, sorry, I'm writing this as 11x, as a slip. 11 to the x equal to, for K1, that will be rad 5 plus 1 upon 2. Now, the reason why I'm interested in this is because of the fact that radical 5 plus 1 upon 2 is the Golden ratio or the divine proportion from Fibonacci sequence. So, we take the natural log on both sides. We'll be having ln of 11 to the x 
equal to ln of radical 5 plus 1 upon a 2. Put this in parentheses. Now, from the power rule of exponent, you can see that 11 is the argument raised to the exponent x. The exponent can become a multiplier as ln of 11. That would be ln of radical 5 plus 1 all upon 2. Now, we can actually use the division rule of uh, logarithm to split this. So, S ln of 11 equal to ln of radical 5 plus 1 minus ln of uh, 2. So, we can then divide both sides by ln of 11. So, S will then be ln of uh, radical 5 plus 1 minus ln of 2 all upon a ln of a 11. Now, guys, if you punch this value in a calculator, because the answer is not, in, uh, you know, it's not an integer, or rather here, if you punch the ln of uh, that 5 plus 1 upon 2 divided by ln of 11, you get 0 0.2. If you do the same here, ln of radical 5 plus 1 minus ln of 2 upon ln of 11 to still give you the same answer, which is 0 0.2. So this is actually the answer for K1. Then similarly for K2. For K2, we then be having 11 to the x equal to 1 minus radical 5 all upon 2. So ln of 11 to the x, that would be ln of 1 minus radical 5 all upon 2. No need to waste time here because of the fact that radical 5 should be 2.23 something. So if you um, subtract 2.23, I think 6 or so from 1, that's going to give you a negative value. And the argument of a log is not defined for negative numbers. So we are going to reject this solution. So we reject this solution. So guys, that's the first uh, method. The second method is still rather very simple. So I'll say method two. Method two. So here, we are just going to do some basic division in exponents. So we are going to divide both sides by 121 to the x. So 1 to the x divided by 121 to the x plus 11 to the x divided by 121 to the x equals 121 to the x divided by 121 to the x. So 121 to the x, we divide out with 121 to the x, so we are going to be having 1 at the right-hand side. So we move forward. Now we know from the division power rule of exponent that if we have, if we have a to the m divided by, okay, say, b to the n. We can actually loop this expression into one parenthesis. Okay, let's put m here. It's going to give us a upon b raised to the power of uh, m. So with that, we are then going to be having 1 upon 1, 2, 1 to the x plus 11 upon 1, 2, 1 to the x, so that's going to be equal to 1. We've already established that 1, 2, 1 to the x divided by 1, 2, 1 to the x, that's equal to 1. Now, 1 upon 1, 2, 1, that can be written as 1 upon 11 whole squared. Then, all raised to the power of uh, x. Then 11 can divide 1, 2, 1. We'll be having 1 upon 11 here to the power of x equal to 1. So if we also switch the exponent here, we can write it as 1 upon 11 to the x whole squared equal to, okay, plus 1 upon 11 to the x equal to 1. So we can then also make a substitution. I'll say let uh, y equal to 1 upon 11 to the x. 
So here we'll be having y squared plus y equal to 1. Then if we rearrange this, it becomes y squared plus y minus 1 equal to 0. So we shall also use the quadratic formula to solve this. So we have y squared plus y minus 1 equal to 0. So we are going to use the quadratic formula. What will be negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all upon 2a. So y will then be negative 1 plus or minus 1, okay, negative 1 squared. No, y is actually, okay. Sorry for that slip. Okay. A is 1, B is 1, C is negative 1. So that would be 1 squared, not negative 1 squared. Sorry for that slip. Then minus 4 multiply 1, multiply negative 1, all upon 2 times 1. So if we move further, we're going to be having Y equal to negative 1 plus or minus. We're also going to be having 1 plus. 4 upon 2, which is the same thing as negative 1 plus or minus radical 5 all upon 2. Then we can also bring, the, bring out the two values for y here. So y1 will be negative 1 plus radical 5 all upon 2. So y2 will be negative 1 minus radical 5 all upon 2. So these are the two values for y for these uh, quadratics. And now, we made a substitution. In our substitution, we said y equal to 1 upon 11 to the x. So for y1, we are going to be having 1 upon 11 to the x equal to that would be rad 5 minus 1 all upon 2 because of the fact that the radical 5 is positive here. So we can then say ln of 1 upon 11 to the x equal to ln of a radical 5 minus 1 all upon 2. So we can write this as ln of 11 minus x equal to ln radical 5 minus 1 all upon 2. So we are going to be having minus s ln of 11 equal to ln of radical 5 minus 1 all upon 2. So no need for us to use the division rule of uh, logarithm here. One can actually get the answer directly. So s is going to be ln of radical 5 minus 1 all upon 2, then divided by, okay, let me write this way, that would be, this is the best way to write it, that, that would be ln of radical 5 minus 1 all upon 2 divided by minus ln of 11, ln of 11. So you could write it this way, that would be minus ln radical 5 minus 1 upon 2 all upon ln of 11. So guys, if you punch ln of rat 5 minus 1 divided by 2 over ln of 11, you are also going to get s equal to 0 0.2. Then, for the second value for y, So we know that minus, okay, don't minus 1 over 11 to the x, that would be minus 1 minus radical 5 all upon 2. So if I take the ln of both sides, I'm going to be having ln minus 1 minus radical 5 all upon 2. So the Argument of a log is not defined for negative number. So 
we are also going to reject this solution. So in this second method, our only valid solution is also S equal to 0 0.2. So guys, that is it for today. Please ensure you like this video and share with your friends and colleagues. And make sure you subscribe for more. See you next time. Stay blessed.